Good morning, my honeys. It is day two of being in Austin, Texas, and uh, I feel a little normal today. I actually had a good night's sleep last night. Uh, I didn't film when things arrived because like, I have just been so burnt out, exhausted, like high anxiety, high stress. Uh, I didn't film, but I got a weighted blanket on Amazon last night uh, for myself because Honey Boy and I were sharing one duvet and that never works out for us. I always end up like exposed and cold. I got myself a weighted blanket and I've been wanting to try out weighted blankets for a while now. And oh my God, best sleep in that. Like it really was so amazing. It was so good. It was so good. But anyway, I figured I would wash my face, get ready with you guys for nothing, <laughs> and tell the story about how the move went. So yesterday I showed you guys what I used for my skincare and basically all my pimples are more or less flat today. So I kind of sorted that out, fixed my skin up. I do have some acne scars and there are some crusty bits, but overall like that fixed my acne right up. I'm so happy. Oh my God, I was freaking out. But anyway, the whole final packing process of our move took pretty much a total of three days prior to our actual moving day. And then the moving day itself was like panic packing, like those, those random items that you know you miss and things like that. But yeah, so for three days prior to our moving day, um, I kind of went MIA because Honey Boy was really crazy busy with work. I just rinsed my face with water just to get all like the sleepies out of my eyes. I'm gonna be using my Nacific Fresh Herb Origin toner for my toner today and also kind of like my cleansing step. I generally don't cleanse in the morning because my skin's hella dry, but I love this toner because similar to the cream that we used yesterday, this also has all those anti-acne properties and nourishing antioxidants, hydrating factors, mild moisturizing factors. It's just like one of my new favorite toners other than like the Clarisol Preparation Facial Toner, which is a holy grail. But yeah, so Honey Boy was super, super busy with work. So it pretty much was just me packing. Also, I kind of wanted to do the majority of the packing as well because I'm, I'm way better at it than he is. So much harder than I thought. So every time I moved in the past, it was like, not fully home moving yet at that point. And like when we moved from our last apartment to our new apartment, we did a partial moving process, meaning like because we were having an in-between location being Honey Boy's parents place, we packed and did partial moves with like vans before we did the main moves. The actual moving process wasn't as hard as it could have been because of that partial moving process over time. But this was the hardest move I've done to this day. So when I moved countries in the past, it was like just living out of two suitcases and a carry-on type vibe. This was literally moving our entire lives. And it was so much harder than I thought it was gonna be. I was in so much pain. My hands swollen, millions of cuts on my hands. Like I could, I could hardly stand up. I was covered in bruises and I still am. It was just like really hard. It was really hard. I just used my Nacific Fresh Sika Plus Clear Serum again today for that uh, anti-inflammatory, calming, soothing effects and hydration. I love it. You can use it on the eyes as well because there's no acids or active uh, exfoliants in it, so it's safe. I'm gonna be going in with my ginseng serum from I'm From. This is a crazy awesome antioxidant for the skin, and it's a really good alternative to vitamin C if you have dry, sensitive skin like me. Like, I can't use a vitamin C every day because it's just way too drying and it's, and it's too much exfoliation for me, even in low percentages. So, I like to use alternative super antioxidants when my skin is dry. Really good for anti-aging, firming, tightening the skin, stimulating blood flow, and helping to keep your skin glowing and looking youthful. But yeah, so over the course of two days, it was like me wake up at literally 7, 6 a.m. and pack until like 11 p.m. at night. It was crazy exhausting uh, <laughs> and so unbelievably stressful. Like I probably hit my max like capacity mental health wise, probably three times, like once a day, honestly, through the packing process, I have like mental health breakdowns. Finally, the moving day came. And like I said before, my friend was moving into our place. So we did a double move in one day with movers. So we had 
We hired movers to help us. It was three men. And essentially they were going to move my friend first, bring her stuff to our place, then unload the truck and then move all of our stuff down into the truck and then move all of our stuff in. So it was a full on, like, again, wake up at 6 a.m. And then like, we probably finished around 5.30, but it wasn't easy. Like, of course there's always an issue. There's always something that goes wrong. So uh, at my friend's place, I didn't go because in that morning I was doing all that last minute panic packing of things that were like, you need them until the day of. So like our bed, uh, extra clothes, um, things that Honey Boy forgot to pack um boxes that weren't yet sealed all that kind of stuff so while i was doing that honey boy was at my friend's house why does it sound like he's chewing something hey now. going in with my nasific uh fresh sika clear plus cream again today for all those hydrating calming anti-inflammatory anti-acne and super soothing repairing effects in a nice lightweight gel formula but yeah, so all I was doing that, Honey Boy was over at my friend's house uh, helping the movers to move. And of course there was an issue. So um, we had booked the service elevator at my friend's place, but then I guess there was something wrong with the system and it got double booked. So they didn't have a service elevator and the concierge was giving them a really hard time. So they had to move uh, on the regular elevator and kind of just kind of like ignore the concierge who was like angry at them. So that was an issue for them. And then of course, like they had to like, because the double booking of the service elevator, they had to go to a different elevator on the opposite side of the building. So it was like carrying furniture through the building to the other side, like a nightmare. So that was time consuming. And then because that was so time consuming, it overlapped into our building service elevator time. So we ended up out of our two hour booking for our service elevator on our end, only ended up getting to use it for 30 minutes, which is not nearly enough time. We needed those two hours. So that was a whole freaking, that was a whole nightmare in itself because that delayed us. Like we were sitting around for like maybe two hours in total waiting for like being able to like sneak in and use the service elevator in between other people using it because like in these buildings like there's always other people moving in and out like i don't understand how but there always is it seems thankfully like the, our concierge in our building was working with us and letting us use the service elevator in between other people's bookings and then some people that like finished their booking early would let us squeeze in and use it but it just made it so much more difficult and stressful as well because like people were calling us you have to go now hurry up and oh my god it was so so stressful but end of the day it got done and we finished around 5 30 p.m exhausted i'm just going in and using my Pacific fresh herb origin cream again for those anti-acne anti-inflammatory herbal properties with the skin repairing calming and soothing and moisturizing for super dry skin this like is so good for dry acne prone skin i swear like so good. I kind of cater Olive Glow Atelier mostly for like drier skin types, just because like a lot of skin issues stem from like dehydration and dryness in the skin. And a lot of skin concerns can be targeted and resolved just by focusing on like your skin's moisture barriers. So even if you're oily, a lot of the times like your skin will be overproducing oil because it's dry and feels like it needs to produce a lot of oil. Uh, especially with acne, a lot of acne is simply just uh, your skin barrier being damaged and all that acne bacteria and all that bad bacteria being able to enter into your broken skin. So tip of the day. That was that. And then that was pretty much four days straight for me. Extreme chaos, heavy lifting, packing, uh, issues. <laughs> I'm going to be using my Abib uh, Heartleaf Sun Essence Calming Drop SPF today to keep me protected. Even though I'm not going to go outside, this house does have a lot of windows. So I want to make sure I stay young and beautiful forever. This SPF is great if you have a layering skincare routine because it's not too heavy at all since it's in a liquid formula. And it's also good for people with an oilier combination skin type as well because it's that liquid formula. And then it has a ton of amazing ingredients in there to calm, soothe, nourish the skin, anti-age. 
It's like skincare all in one, honestly. Yeah. Basically four days straight for me of heavy lifting, packing, stress, and chaos. So by the end of it, I was so burnt out, high strung, anxiety attacks, panic attacks, like stress level over the moon, and just pure pain, like pain everywhere. My whole body, my hands swollen, like they're still swollen and my joints still are like kind of messed up. Like my index fingers on both my hands are still, like you can kind of tell, like this one's pretty bad on my right hand. It's still really, like you would almost think I broke my fingers. But yeah, my fingers, my hands are still really swollen. Not as bad as they were before. So then, thank God we did this. We took a day off in between our moves before our actual flight to Austin, like the actual move. Uh, so I packed up two big suitcases with um, a maximum capacity of 50 pounds. I hit 50 pounds on one of them. And I made sure to pack like my laptop, my tech, everything I need to like stream, film videos, uh, get content, and then uh, a small supply of clothing as well. Toiletries, of course, and then uh, some bedding. So we had something to sleep on when we arrived. Um, about a small supply of one of each of our products from Glow Atelier, which was really, really heavy in itself. So I think I brought three of each product. Uh, so that I have s at least something to fulfill some orders before our shipment arrives because we shipped everything here with the movers. For my foundation today, I'm gonna be using a really small amount of the Ordinary Coverage Foundation in Y2G with my Cushion Puff. Actually, I should just wash this puff and put the whole thing in there because this is like done. And I haven't had time to buy a new, <laughs> new foundation. But yeah, thankfully we gave ourselves a day a kind of a day's rest before our flight. And uh, we stayed at my friend's Rachel house cause she's in Australia right now. So her house is empty. Uh, so she said we could use her place if we needed to. So we did. I didn't film anything while we were there. Cause like I was literally dying. I was so exhausted. Uh, so then that day before our flight, we had to get our antigen test to be able to fly in to the United States. And of course we were negative, thank God. Uh, so we ran around and did that and then just rested. So Honey Boy went and visited his family and I just took a rest because I already visited my dad before, uh, before the whole process started. So I just literally took a rest, which was good for Flynn because the whole moving process with the movers that day was really high stress for him. Like I felt so bad. We had to like hide him in the bathroom with food and litter box and he was really upset about it and stressed out. So he definitely needed the day, the day off as well. But yeah, took a day off, took a rest, ordered takeout. And then the next morning was our flight, which was pretty early. Our flight was at 10 a.m. So we had to leave at 7 a.m. for the airport, which was also very stressful because there's always the instance where I wouldn't be allowed or one of us or somebody wouldn't be allowed in the country, whether it be Honey Boy, me, or Flynn. Uh, and it was my first time bringing a cat in cabin. I've done bringing a cat in cargo, but I haven't done like traveling with a cat in cabin, so I wasn't too familiar with the steps. And also I've never brought a pet to the United States. So I'm not too sure if it was like more strict, less strict. And it turns out it's less strict. All we had to do was go to the vet and get proof uh, that he's healthy and that he has all his vaccinations, which we did. And your vet usually knows exactly what to do depending on the country and the airline you're going. So I let them know we're going to the United States of Texas and that we were flying with Air Canada and then they filled out the proper documents for us. Uh, health sheets and whatnot, which made it really, really easy. Uh, so at the airport, they basically just wanted to see our proof of vaccination on check-in and then uh, we checked our baggage. And then also they wanted to see Flynn's like health records as well to make sure he had all his documents. After that, uh, at immigration, and immigration for Canadians to the United States is so interesting, unlike everywhere else. Like I've never, it's just weird for me because I don't like ever go to the US. But they, I just used my uh, Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Snow. But they do the immigration before you enter the country. So you go through like immigration officer 
and get asked like, how long are you staying? What's your purpose? You know, blah, 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 stamp your passport before entering the country. Well, everywhere else I've been in the world, you do that upon arrival. And I kind of like, like it's kind of nice that it's before because what if you get denied, then like what I fly back? Like at least you're still in your home. But anyway, so we had a really nice immigration officer and he just again asked us like, what's your purpose? And I was like, our purpose is like for here, for you guys, I'm just gonna say like professional and personal. Um, asked me uh, if we're gonna get married. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, soon, hopefully. <laughs> and then just wanted to see Flynn's documents and our proof of vaccination again. And it was all good in the, in the actual flight. Uh, Flynn, because he was in cabin, he has to go under the seat in front of us. Uh, so you have to have a specific airline carrier for your pet that is airline approved for the right dimensions. So they fit under the, under the seat in front of you. So we did that. And then upon arrival, it was nothing. We just grabbed our luggage and that was that because we already did immigration. Cause for Canadians, I guess it's like that. Uh, if you're coming from somewhere else in the world, I'm sure you have to go through immigration or actually, I have no idea. I have no idea, but anyway, it was super, super easy. Then when we arrived, we had rented a car for two weeks because we have to buy a car here. Like in Austin, Texas, you like you need a car to get around. Like <sighs> similar to Canada, unless you're living like in the core of the downtown city, you need a car to get anywhere. So, Wow, yeah, my makeup did not go on nice today, holy moly. We rented a car for two weeks. We went to the rental section, picked that up, got in the car with Flynn, and then our main priority at that point was just getting to the house because Flynn has already been suffering enough for the past two days or three days. Uh, so we wanted to get to the house, drop him off, let him out of the crate. And then we immediately left, uh, went to the pet store to get food, litter, uh, a temporary litter box until his actual one arrives. Uh, we went to the internet store to pick up our internet box so we would have internet in the house. Uh, we went with Spectrum, uh, which is an internet provider here in Texas uh, for our internet service. Then we immediately went to a mattress store and bought a mattress, uh, which you guys saw, we got the Nectar one and it's been amazing. It's been so good. Such an upgrade from our old rickety one, oh my God. And then after that, we went to H Mart. <laughs> that was literally the first grocery store we go to is the Korean and Japanese one. But yeah, so we just wanted to get some like pre-made food and some food and some instant coffee that we would have, which you guys saw. So we ate that and then more or less went to bed after setting up the internet. Yesterday was a weird day because um, it's just weird being in a house all by myself that's this big. Like I, I, I spent most of my day yesterday pacing, not knowing what to do. Additionally, we had already set up and got SIM cards with uh, T-Mobile on our last trip here when we were house hunting and there was an issue. So our phones weren't working for the first day uh, or first, I guess, day and a half since we arrived. So I couldn't do like, if I say for example, I wanted to leave the house, like I wanted to Uber somewhere to do something. I couldn't because like my no data, no GPS, no service. Uh, so I was just trying to figure out what the heck was going on. Uh, additionally, I ordered, uh, because we need things for the house, I've just been ordering stuff on Amazon with like get it today or get it the next day delivery with Prime, which has been really good. So I've just been ordering stuff on Amazon, like kind of figuring out what we might need, what we don't need and things like that. So we need curtains, uh, we needed some bedding, uh, separate blankets, we needed some towels, we needed, uh, we need trash, we need a lot of stuff. So I've just been ordering things on Amazon and setting it up for like, get it today, get it the next day delivery. And then by the time Honey Boy was back, we immediately wanted to go to T-Mobile and go to Costco. So T-Mobile was our first stop to get our phones fixed because without GPS, we don't know where we're going. We don't know how to get home. Like it's a real issue. Uh, how we've been getting around that is like we, when we have Wi-Fi, we put in the directions and activate them so that uh, it still works even though you don't have service. <laughs> So that was how we were doing that and able to get around. 
Uh, so once you get to your destination, you're basically screwed and don't have a map. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so we went to T-Mobile, got our SIM cards fixed. The issue was that the person that activated them for some reason didn't activate the plan with data. Like what the, what the heck? Anyway, whole, whole issue, but that's fixed. After that, we went to Costco, uh, got a membership because Costco is super amazing. And we want, I don't know why Honey Boy just wants a Costco membership. I don't really think it's necessary. Like we don't have a family and we don't really need bulk things, but either way, he wanted a Costco membership. So we went to Costco, we got a bunch of food uh, that's like bulk style. We still need to go to a grocery store again for like fresh produce because getting like fresh produce at Costco just seems like a huge waste because it's like, it's gonna go bad. And they also don't have that much produce as well. It's more just like bulk frozen food, bulk like dried goods and like meat and things and milk stuff like that so anyway we got we got that kind of stuff that has been the first few days i'm sorry this story time is like literally in the bathroom just looking at me um but yeah that <laughs> that has been the first few days so that's been that's been it so far i'm finally feeling a little bit normal uh it's a little hard to feel like I can build any kind of routine or work because like I don't have a desk, I don't have a chair. Uh, it's really hard, but yeah, that is what it is. Uh, let's, let's go eat some food. trying so hard not to scratch the pan because we still don't have utensils for like cooking. <laughs> I got these Bibigo steamed vegetable and chicken dumplings from Costco yesterday, Korean brand. If you're not familiar with what Bibigo is, it's a, it's a Korean chain, like traditional Korean food restaurant. It's pretty good. Uh, so I'm gonna heat these up in the microwave. It says to just pop these in the microwave as is for two minutes. Let's see how these turned out. Wow, they smell good. Mmm. If only I had soy sauce. My eggs and spinach are done, so let's have a plate to those. And that is breakfast slash lunch. I don't even know what time it is. Let's give it a taste. It looks really hot. Mm. It's bland. Oh my God, we don't have salt or pepper. <laughs> All we got for dressing is this Kewpai sesame Japanese dressing. So I can still put that on. If you guys are wondering why I haven't bought any soy sauce yet and sorry about the jumbo size it's because we got this from costco but i haven't bought soy sauce yet because i am so picky with my soy sauces like i love like the premium light soy sauce full of like flavor um, mushroom ones are really good and i completely forgot to buy soy sauce when we were at h mart the first night because it was such a like that day was such a blur anyway let's try that mm, so much better I still need salt though. These are probably gonna be too hot for me. Oh my god, yeah. Why am I having so much difficulty with this? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. 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 That's good. I'm gonna stand and enjoy eating these because we don't have chairs. Also, this is currently my desk. <laughs> Blow up mattress. Cat. <laughs> uh, empty box of Korean already ready to go rice on this little nook. Oh my god, it's so uncomfortable. I am so excited to use this fireplace. You guys, it's like 2 p.m. I just finished editing a video. <laughs> And Honey Boy messaged me saying, it's so beautiful outside, I should go out. So I step outside in the backyard, it's 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, literally in Toronto, Canada, it's negative 10, all right? This is summer weather 
in February. Well, I guess it's the 1st of March today, but oh, what? Anyway, so I got so excited. I came inside, I opened a window. Of course, there's a spider in the freaking window. So I immediately shut the window. <laughs> I'm literally the spider queen. Anyway, that's one of the downsides to this house is that a majority of our windows are north facing. So uh, we're definitely gonna have a spider problem here. Uh, so I think I'm gonna hop on Amazon immediately and buy a long stick sprayer with spider killer formula and so I can spray all these windows down because apparently, apparently there is pest control that came by like a couple weeks ago and did the outside of the house but like we weren't here to monitor that so I don't know how thoroughly they did uh, so I'd rather be able to get spiders killed on my own accord instead of waiting for this pest control people to like do their seasonal rounds especially given the chance that we most likely have a spider problem here at our house and a bug problem so yeah let's uh hop on amazon and do that all right see amazon i'm spending so much money on amazon uh long spray in sec side tool I have no idea what like I know I have it at my family's house I need like the long the longest stick imaginable I don't need a compression I just need I guess I do need compression yeah <laughs> get it today um yeah I want to it's literally like I you guys I checked the weather and it's gonna be like 28 later this week oh my god dream Anyway, you guys, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because we're running at a half hour. That's pretty long for a vlog. So that was an update vlog with our moving story of the moving day. I only got one clip of that day to when we were in like the middle of the moving process. But I hope you guys liked hearing the story on what it was like for the whole moving process to move. Uh, please understand why I didn't really film any of it. It was a nightmare. It was the high stress, impossible, couldn't deal with it kind of a situation but we're here now I'm excited to do up this place over time I'm excited for suburbia life <laughs> so suburbia <sighs> and uh, join me for the ride on our new life as we start this whole new chapter in Austin Texas anyway subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you guys next time Stick with me on my social media, so I'm going to be starting to post there again regularly now that the whole hustle and bustle has calmed down. Yeah.